When it comes to finances, women face different issues. Cheryl Burris of Cardinal Point Financial Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, joins us this morning to discuss the unique challenges. Thanks for joining us, Cheryl. Thank you. Thank you for having me. First, what can you tell us about your background and your area of focus in your practice? Well, I have been an advisor since uh, probably for about 15 years. And I have been, uh, well, I'm also a graduate of UofL. I have been in uh, services, servicing a lot of folks, but mainly servicing women, helping them gain confidence and uh, helping them with build financial uh, goals, priorities. Um, and Ameriprise has actually been doing this for about 120 years. Cheryl, what types of unique financial concerns do women face? And also, how can an advisor help? Well, women wear a lot of different hats. Um, uh, one of them as you know, if you're working, you have children, uh, you may be helping, you know, your elderly parents, uh, all at the same time, bringing their, you know, their families together. Um, as an advisor, what we try to do is help women balance those uh those concerns, especially financial, so that they can uh, help reduce the stress level in their busy life. Um, we we help create a financial strategy and that works for them. And, it, and in some cases, and a lot of women have told me that it helps them actually to sleep at night uh, doing this. Cheryl, obviously women face different financial concerns that can affect their finances. So what are some of the things that women should consider? Women have, obviously, there's demographic and social factors that, you know, are of concern. Part of that is the income gap, as we all know. Uh, the other part is we are living longer. We do have multiple roles in our life, uh, as I said earlier. And then also there's changes that happen down the road, whether it's a loss of a spouse or uh, it's actually getting a divorce. So those are the concerns that, uh, you know, as, as advisors that we, uh, along the way, we help women with and address those and set priorities. Now, unemployment is at an all time high. We keep seeing that in the headlines. And for women though, who are actively looking for a job, what things should they consider? Well, number one, especially with what's going on today with the un unemployment being at an all time high, uh, you know, as you know, in, there's the with the income gap, women, uh, you know, on average, or, or even other individuals, on average, have a two to two point five roughly uh, raise every year, hopefully. But a job change can yield a higher amount. It may yield higher amounts, like say four point five. When women are considering other jobs, not only should they consider. Um, uh, the amount that they're going to get, but also what comes in the package that could include uh, the benefits, the 401k, what is the match, what is the, the health care that they actually uh, are offering, will the, if you were to take on their health care, what percentage would you actually have to pay? Do they have tuition uh, reimbursement? Uh, do they have a pension in addition to a 401k? Those can all be added into the package for uh, you know your your compensation and, and do add up. So uh, other things, um, you know, scholarships. Do do they offer any of that or, or HSAs and so on? They should be looking at those con concerns uh, as far as if they're looking to find a new job. My mom always told me you have to be your own advocate, I and mean, that's all mm -hmm. great advice. Now, given the current market conditions and volatility, what advice do you have? Well, the main thing is to, um, you know, make sure that, for, number one, determine your risk tolerance. That's number one. When I'm talking to clients, it's always about risk first, return second. Number two, get invested. And uh, number three is diversify. And number four is stay invested. What can you tell us more about determining your risk tolerance? Well, women are, uh, it's not, they are risk aware, I would say. Um, they, they're not really risk adverse, but sometimes that means that uh, they're, they're too, uh, because they are risk aware, too conservative when they are investing. And that can be troublesome, especially for uh, down the road, several years later when they do retire and they have to consider, you know, uh, 
the cost of living today will not be the cost, same cost of living in the future. Uh, so when we work with clients, we always, uh, you know, not only talk about the risk, but, you know, what, if you're thinking about diversifying and, and your risk tolerance, you got to think about, you know, will I be able to sleep at night if, say, I'm in an aggressive portfolio? But the other thing that they need to remember is that uh, if they don't, you know, invest or get something that's getting a higher average rate of return, that they won't have that purchasing power later down the road to meet higher expenses. Now, diversifying, how does that help protect your investment portfolio? Well, chances are when you have a portfolio, you know, based on whatever your age is, you have to think about um, if you have a long time horizon, you can add more equities, meaning more uh, U.S. or non-U.S. stocks. Uh, as you get closer to retirement, you may want to go ahead and reduce some of those equities, depending on uh, when you plan on spending. I think that's the hardest part about uh, when someone's in the market is uh, knowing how much to put in uh, the more risky uh, uh, investments, such as uh, U.S. or non-U.S. Stock, stocks. So that, that's what we help clients with is to manage that and make sure that when they do plan on retiring, that we have them positioned accordingly to when uh, that they are actually going to need those funds. Now, as women, what are some other strategies, and I also mean tax strategies, that will help us? Well, there are several different tax strategies. There's tax, tax free, tax deferred, um, tax exempt. Uh, when we're working with folks, especially, you know, if it's tax free, you think about, uh, you know, the um, Roth, you think about HSAs in some situation, uh, Roth 401ks, those are tax free, meaning that you go into those with after tax money and they actually um, are tax free when you, when you do uh, start using those funds. Uh, then you think about uh, taxable, meaning uh, also after tax money, but it might be in something of cash and cash equivalents, whether it's CDs or money markets or, or our, our municipal funds. Um, and then you think about tax uh, deferred, meaning uh, 401ks, 403Bs, IRAs, these are all tax vehicles. And what we do as advisors, we work with the client and in some, a lot of cases with our tax advisors to make sure that we have the clients in the best uh, uh, situation as far as uh, what's uh, good for their uh, circumstances. Cheryl, I appreciate you joining us this morning and look forward to you joining us on Great Day Live again soon. All right, thank you. If you're interested in learning more about how you can work toward achieving your financial goals, please feel free to contact Cheryl Burris. You can contact her at Cardinal Point Financial Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services at 502-489-6900. Cheryl looks forward to your call. Thank you.